Yeah, good afternoon, everybody, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, my dear students, and my brothers and sisters. Welcome to We Care Online Education. You have to say good afternoon after 12 o'clock. This I have been telling you from the very beginning. When to say good morning, when to say good afternoon, and when to say good evening, and when to say good night. Okay. So actually, I was supposed to start at uh, 12.30, but uh, it is already late. So excuse me for starting the class late. Did, have, has, had, may, shall, and should. And I was telling you about, I had been telling you about the usage of prefix and suffix. And also, I told you about some of the homophones. I'll do, I'll do that once, once again, homophones. I have got a very big list of homophones. I'll list it out and write. The difference is, the thing is, in other languages, we write, we write how we say. The pronunciation, we write how we say, how we pronounce. But in English, it is not like that. Pronunciation is different and writing is different. So it may not be the same. So I'll read out the Homophones, I have got a very big list of homophones. Here the spellings are different, meanings are different, but the pronunciation is the same. Whereas in other languages, it is not like that. But every word, the pronunciation changes. In English, it is not like that. So that I do. Before I could start, and I'll tell you about the way to use the silent letters. I've got a list of silent letters, something like calf, half, born, Wednesday, born. Work so many words are there, silent words are there, pronounced we should say like that. But in other languages, there are no silent letters. You write how you pronounce, you write how you pronounce. There is no silent letter in other languages except in English. So that is the beauty of the English. That is what sometimes we say English is a funny language. We say how we write. English is not like that. For example, calf, C, A, L, then L is silent. But in other languages, we don't mention L and then write. And you can't say in other languages, there L is there, you should not say that. It is silent. It is not like that. <coughs> so like that, <coughs> I got a list of <coughs> homophones and silent letters. Before I could teach about the homophones and silent letter words, I would I would like to narrate a small story about blind belief. How it some years before people now still follow. People now still follow, isn't it? Something like that. So what once it happened, a priest was there, he used to perform puja in front of his house. Every day he used to perform puja in front of so there was a pole, of, there was a small pole and he used to tie the cat to the pole and perform puja so that the cat should not interrupt or come in between and disturb the puja. That is what it was happening. Before he could perform puja, he used to take the cat with a rope, it is tied with a rope in the neck and he used to tie it to the pole and the cat will be there. After performing puja, he will untie the rope and that will go here and there. It will start roaming. So that was the practice. That was the practice. Why it is not a practice actually, that was he was doing because the cat should not disturb while he was performing puja. So this was happening for years together. One fine day what happened, the priest died. The priest passed away. Now, the procedure has to be continued by his son. The same practice has to be continued by his son. So that day what happened? There was no cat. He started cat somewhere escaped or cat also died. We don't actually. But there was no cat in his house. So before he could perform puja, he used to see for the cat. See, father used to perform puja by tying a cat to the pole and then perform puja. The father was doing because the cat should not disturb while he 
while he was performing to the pole. So what the son taught, it was something like a practice. It was something like a tradition. It was something like a culture. So what he thought, oh, without the cat, I cannot perform puja because there is no cat. He goes to the market, he buys a small cat, he ties a rope to its neck and uh, ties it to the pole and started performing. It was a culture or a tradition. So just to avoid the cat not to disturb his puja, he used to take the cat and do it. The son thought it was something like a practice. It was something like a tradition or culture. Isn't it? This is how most of the people still believe. This is how most of the people During Nagar Panchmi also what they do is they will take milk and put it in the anthill. Pambu puttuku anthill in Chodonama. Puttila vandittu and the pala utra. The thing is Snake doesn't drink milk for two tongues. He doesn't drink milk. But we milk it to the anthill. And uh, uh, what happens there? The uh, wet, the soil will become wet. It will be something like irritation to the snake. It will become wet and it will not get dyed so because it is below the soil. So this is a old custom or tradition, something like that. People still follow. And if a cat goes across the road, we stop the vehicle and then we go afterwards. Otherwise, we change the route itself. Nobody told that if you happen to go after the cross, after the cat crossing, some bad word, blind will happen, what a number cat. It is not a genuine number to travel. Isn't it? Something like that. So coming to coming to homophones, there are many homophones like that. Like sun, sun, by, by, See, see, isn't it? Cell, cell, something like that. Some more homophones I will tell. Alter Naka platform. In your alter one, A L T E R is change. So the spellings are different, pronunciation is the same, but meanings are different. Into, I told you yesterday about artist and artist. Bail, bail, B A I L, bail, B A L E, bail. So bail means a person came out of the bail. B A I L. If you will write, <clears throat> if a person is arrested, he is kept in the jail. So he will come out of he will come out on bail. He has to write a bond paper of ten thousand rupees or one lakh. He will come out of bail. This is bail. This is bail means cotton. This is bail means bundle. This bail is bundle. Here, the spellings are different. Meaning is different, but position is the same. Those are called homophones. I got a very big list. Something like that. Yeah. Birth, birth. B E R T H birth. B E R T H birth. And one more birth is there. B I R T H. This birth means the railway compartment. Bed in a tree is called birth. Bed in a train is called birth, B-E-R-T-H. And this B-I-R-T-H is birth of a child, being born. When is your birthday? When is the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi? I'll tell you the difference between birthday and birth anniversary. Birthday is celebrated when the person is alive. And birth anniversary is celebrated when the person is not alive or no more. Udai Rinata, birthday celebrate for no birth anniversary celebrate birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi is on October 2nd. Birth anniversary of Srimati Indira Gandhi is November 19th. Birth anniversary of Ambedkar is Dr. Ambedkar is sorry, April 14th. It is also celebrated when both an husband and wife are alive. When both husband and wife are alive, they celebrate birth anniversary, sorry, wedding anniversary. First wedding anniversary, second wedding anniversary, 25th wedding anniversary. Like when any one person is there and the wife, the wife has died, the husband will not celebrate. When high wife is there, when the husband has died, the wife will not celebrate. Something like that. Wedding anniversary, birth anniversary. Okay. So Rango, Pudu Vita Kwesarai, that's called house warming ceremony. That is called house warming ceremony. Now coming to <coughs> Yeah, 
break break i will not give all i will tell you something e a k break don't break this glass the past tense of break is broke he broke this glass like that you can say tea break tea break coffee break lunch break like that you can say b r e a k okay the upper the past tense of break is broke one more break is there b r a k e this is for the vehicle apply break when you want to stop the vehicle this vehicle has no break so it's very dangerous without the break can you travel without the break break can you ride a bike or drive a car very dangerous you cannot stop it it won't stop so break is very very important the vehicle a device to stop is called a break b r a k e break means split break means split into pieces for so coming to yeah so this is about homophobic some more words i have Yeah, seized, seized, seized. Yes, e a c e, and stop. Seize, seize means stop. This seize means catch. Seize fire, they say. Stop it. This seize means catching. A seized lot of material. This is yes, e and sent. C e n t sent. The c n t sent. C E N T cent is a coin. One cent, two cent. This cent is a coin. This cent, yes, C E N T cent is perfume. Perfume. Okay, that is called cent. So coming to one more word, check and check. This is called check. C H E C K check. C H E Q U is check. Checkies. We use check leaf to withdraw cash from the bank. Nowadays, nobody uses check leaf. Everybody uses ATM or they do money transfer by Paytm or something like that. Phone pay, Google pay, they will transfer or they will not issue check leaves or something like that. If I want to pay you some money, I will transfer the money through phone pay or Google pay or money transfer, whatever it is. So. Nowadays, nobody uses check leaf. So the instrument or the thing which is issued by the bank is called check. Coming to site, C I T E site, S I T E site, C I T E site. Site means refer to. This site means land. One more site means land. Plot of a building is called site. I bought a site, thirty, forty site in my hometown. I bought a site in Mysore. I bought a site in Bangalore. S I T. S I T. Site means plot or land. This site means C. Refer to you. Refer to that site. Example can say. Yeah. yeah. Coming to dairy, dairy. Slight difference in the pronunciation. D I A R Y diary. D A diary means your book. Children should write their names and everything address in their diary. Children should write their homework and make a note from the day. A I R Y where milk, butter, everything is sold. Milk enterprise they say. Coming to disease, disease I already told you. D I S E A S E is disease, illness. One more disease is there. D E C E A S E is die. Okay. Coming to dear, dear. Dear means kind. My dear son, my dear daughter, my dear friend. You say no. One more is dear. You not say dear. Dear. D E dear means man. So coming to yeah, many words are there. Uh, fair, fair. Not all words, but I will tell you some of the important words where you have to remember. Remember. Fair, fair. This is very important word. F A I R fair. 
a fair or e fair. This fair is jatre. Animal fair, cow fair, goats fair, a book fair like that they say. F A I R fair. And she is looking fair. She is looking fair. Like that also you can say. This in this fair is bus fair. F A R E fair is bus fair. Train fair. Air fair like that. Ticket. So this is about the fair. Bus fair. This is fair means looking. Or you can say book fair, cattle fair, sheep fair like that. So something like a festival. One is festival. He is looking fair. She looks fair. He looks fair. Format, format. F A R F A R N E R. F O R N E R. F A M A R is Vivasai, Raita. Kisan, F A R N E R is a Kisan. Or one more is farmer of bus boring. Farmer before. The farmer. Who was the farmer prime minister before Narendra Modi? Manmohan Singh was the prime minister. Who was the president before uh, Venkai Naidu? Something like that. Who was the president? Pranav Prana, Prana, Kumar Mukherjee was the president. Or you can say before that. He was the president. Abdul Kalam was the president. Former means before. Other one is after. Okay, later. Okay, now this farmer is Kisan. Deva Sai F A R M E R. Look at the spelling. Only O. Farmer, farmer. There is a difference of here. You are written A. Here you are written O. That is the difference. Floor, floor. One more important. F L. F L O U R four floor. F L O O R floor. Look at that. Look at the difference. F L O U R floor. F L O O R floor. Floor means mouth. Beet floor, ragi floor, rice floor. Like that you can see. Jowar floor. This floor and this floor. So look at the spellings are different. Pronunciation is the same, but meanings are different. This floor means ground floor. This is powder. This is powder, and this is ground floor, first floor, second floor, like that. You can see. Coming to yeah, I already yesterday I told you about goal. G O A L goal is aim. G A O L is Idle, idle, idle. I D L E, idle. I D O L is idle. Idle, idle. Idle means is simply sitting quiet, lazy. This idle is a picture. This idle means image. Idle. Ram's idle. Krishna's idle. Ganesha idle. You say. She like the children idle. Statue, madam. This is something like a made of scripture. Coming to not K N O T not and N O T not K N O T not K N O T is not much important. Not K N O T. This is not. He is not coming today. He is not here. Either you can say this is N O T not is one of them. This not is what Thai. Tie a knot, put a chip over there. Okay. The sin is an e s s s e l. The sin. This lesson is matter of study. This this lesson is reduce. This lesson means lesson. Did you read this lesson? Open lesson number two. Read lesson number three. We have twenty five lessons in this book textbook. Like that you can see. This is lesson. Did you read this lesson? So many things are there about homophones. Only few we should remember. Loan, loan, L O A N, loan. We borrow money from the bank. It is called loan. If somebody lends you money, that is called loan. Loan means we have to repay. L O A N, loan is single. He is loan person. He is single. Now coming to R. One more thing is that after loan, lose. The difference. 
<coughs> it seems same, but still, you most of the students will make mistake. Instead of writing this rule, they'll write this rule. Either you'll double, you'll get wrong. S O L E S O L O is tight. T I G H T tight. This opposite of lose, this is win. If you don't play well, you lose the match. Something like lost. Something like, like L O S T lost. One more thing is there lost. The opposite of lost is one. The opposite of the opposite of last is first. I lost my place. Don't lose it. Keep it safe. Don't lose money. Don't lose time. You have to use make use of yellow you see, not yellow you see. This shirt is loose. I wear loose shirts. I wear loose pants like that. This is tight. Got it? Yes. One more thing is male and male. Ah, this I already told you. India lost the match. India won the match. India lost the match. India won the match. I lost it. Okay, something like that. So, LAST lost, FIST first. He came last in the class. He came first in the class. Sitting in the front row, he is sitting in the last row. Front row in the first row. He is sitting in the front row. He is sitting in the last row. See, L A S T last. L O S T means Kannada picture. I lost my pen. I lost my wallet. I lost my cell phone. Like that, you can see. Now, coming to mail and mail. M A L E mail, female, masculine gender. M A I L -E, send a mail. This is about information. M A I L post. This mail is post. This mail means man. M A L E is man. M A I L is post. So, what is the difference? Spellings are different. Spellings are different. M A L E, M A I L. Meaning is different, but pronunciation is the same. For that, what you write in Canada or in Tamil or in Hindi, you write mail only. You don't know which mail you refer to, whether this mail or this mail. If you want to translate mail, mail, you write in Canada mail only. In Hindi, mail. In Tamil, mail. Because that is what English, that is what they say. It is a funny language. If you don't know the spelling correctly, you will go wrong. It will give a different meaning. Instead of writing this spell, if I write this, you said it. Should be very careful in spellings. Okay? Lose, lose. Like lost, last. He sits in the last bench, not L O S T, L A S T. If you don't play well, you lose the match. This lose. Then again, this lose is tight. I wear loose shirts, he wears tight shirts like that. Now coming to meat. One more word is that meat. M E A T meat. And one more word is that M E T. Meat means flesh. It eats meat. Meat means flesh of another animal. Meat means I want to meet him. See a person. Meat means see a person. I want to meet a manager. I want to meet your boss. I want to. M E E T. You should don't, don't write this M E A T. M E A T is the flesh of the animals. Lion eats the meat of deer. We eat the meat of cow. Usually, bull. That is called beef, goat, sheep, chicken. This meat is flesh. What it? Now coming to. Uh, pale and pale. P A L E pale. P A L E pale. 
And one more pail is there, P A I L, it is bucket. He is looking pale. He has become weak. Actually, he was a little bit dark due to less amount of hemoglobin or bloodlessness, something like that. He has become pale, means he has become very dull. That is called P A L E. This pail is bucket. P A I L is called bucket. Go and get me a pail of water. In Africa, people walk a distance of three or four kilometers to get a pail of water. P A I L. Fill water in the pail. So this is bucket. Be very careful in the spellings. Peace, peace. There, are, there is a big list, but still, I write only which we are they we use in our day to day life. Peace means small. Peace means harmony. <clears throat> get me a piece of chalk. The teacher will tell to the students, get me a piece of chalk. You should not say get me a chalk piece. Get me a piece of chalk. Get me two pieces of chalk. Get me a piece of paper, P E I C. This piece is Samadhanam, Harmony, P E A C. We should maintain peace during this COVID. Maintain peace is Samadhanam, something, something like silent. One is plain and one is plain. Plan, plain, simple. Principal, principle. You should be very careful while writing the spelling of principal. Principal. He is the principal of the school. Principal can be a male or a female. This principal is some rule. Something like rule. He has to maintain some principle in his life. He has to maintain some principle in his life that is called rule. Now coming to quite and quite very commonly we use this Q U I E T Q I T E. Most of the students will get confused with this. Quite quite Q U I E T means it is silent. This is a Q U I E T is quiet. Q U I T is quite comfortable. How are you? I am quite well. This is quite you have to use. Q U I T. Look at the difference. You should be very careful in the spellings. If you miss either way, the entire meaning is wrong in a sentence. In other languages, we we'll write quite only. This is calm, silence, serene. But this is not silent. This is complete. Wait. Okay. Full. Complete. Some more I will write. Right. Right. R-I-G-H-T. Right. Means correct. Right means also left. One more right is the R-I-T-E. Rituals. They do some sampradaya. They do some puja paraskara. That is called right. Rights, R I T E S, rights. Root and root are some more common word. Root, R O O T, root. R O I U T E, root. Look at that difference. R O O T, root. Tap root, fibrous root. Bottom source. This is root. Path. What is the root? Which root goes? This root goes to which place? This root goes to which place? This root goes to Brigade Road. This root goes to MG Road. It's called root. Anything which grows above the ground is called shoot. This root, look at it. Bus root, train root, ship root, like that we can say. Wow. <clears throat> Uh, 
Now coming to stationary, 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 stationary. See these things and all you should remember. There is nothing like forgetting. These things and all you should always remember. You should be very careful in writing the spellings. You should be very careful in writing the spellings. While saying you can say, if you write, get me a pail of water, instead of telling like that, if you write spelling P-A-L-E, it is wrong. Very, very careful with the spellings. But pronunciation is the same. Sir only told son, no, so I wrote S-U-N means no, gone wrong. You are wrong. Be very careful. That is what pronunciation and spellings are very, very important. In. If you miss a single letter also, it gives a different meaning. In the writing A, if you write O, it gives a different meaning. G O A L gold means aim. G A O L means it is writing E if you write A, it gives a different meaning. So, isn't it? So, for example, see this is cell. You write like this. You write you you did a mistake. C E L L cell is something different. If you write C A L L, it is call. I received a call from my friend. Give me a call of reaching home. Call him inside. Don't call him. Here this is said. Just a letter will make a lot of difference. Okay. Now coming to next is stationary, stationary. Stationary. S T A N A R Y. One more stationary is there. S E A N E R Y. It gives a different meaning. I O N E R Y is stationary. S T A T I O N E R Y is stationary. This is, it doesn't move. The sun is stationary. Anything which is doesn't move is called stationary. All the planets are not stationary, but sun is stationary, doesn't move. The building is stationary. The rock is stationary, it will not move. Anything which doesn't move is called stationary. N A R Y. This stationary is books, writing materials, stationary shop. In Yungana Poning, stationary shop, in the spelling word, in the spelling put upon. He himself will not know. You should be very careful when you are opening a stationary shop, it should be N E R Y. It should, it should not be NARY. NARY means it doesn't move. Steel. Steel, yeah. S T E E L steel. S T E A L steel. This steel is a metal. Steel. In the steel with the director, he stole my watch. Thieves entered the house and stole. Don't steal things of others. Steal means kalatana. This steel is metal. This table is made of steel. This is it. Yeah. <coughs> now, throw through. Throw through. T H R E through T H R E through T H R O U G H is through 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 he threw the ball at me. The past tense of through is through. This is through means through. The bus is going through the channel. The bus is going into the through through this place. This through is I went through the notes. I went through my notes. There is one more through. That means studying. Through the window. See through the window. I go through your notes. Go through the subject. I went through his notes. I read. One more through is window. He is seeing through the window. This through is the passage of throw. He don't throw the ball at me. Look at that. Don't throw. So that is about through, past the through.
location and vocation. Waste, waste. The two things are the right thing. So many words are like, like that. W A I S T waste. W A S T is waste. A T H E R weather. No, no, new, new, sun, sun. Look at that. Waste, belly, stomach. This is waste. W is, this is waste, sir. No use. Don't throw the waste here. Where is the waste paper basket? Don't waste your time. Look at that. W A S T E waste. Look at that. W A I S T waste. Waste is really part of the body. This waste is waste paper basket. This is waste. No use. Don't waste your time. Time lost will not get back. Something like that. W A S T waste. And coming to weather and weather. This is about the day. Weather is if. The other meaning of weather is if. Other meaning of weather is if. This is. It is not climate actually. <clears throat> it is not actually. It is the part of the climate. Weather is the part of the climate. W E A T H E R is weather. That is clear. What the weather is for the day. How is the weather today? How is the weather yesterday? Sir, yesterday it was warm. Today it is cold. What is the weather condition of Bangalore today? So climate is for the entire year. How is Bangalore climate? How is Chennai climate? This is for the complete year. It's called climate. Don't get confused with weather and climate. Climate is not, it is not for the day. It is for the entire year. Spring season or four seasons will compromise climate. Spring, winter, autumn and summer. These are the four seasons. The climatic condition you say. Climate is for the year. Weather is for the day. When they say weather report. What is the weather report today? What, is the weather, what was the weather report yesterday? How is the weather today in Bangalore? It is cool. If, please let me know whether he is coming. The other meaning is if. Please let me know whether he is coming or if he is coming. Varara, Ilya, children, if. So that is about the weather. Yes. Way, way. Here it is. No, no. N O, no. K N O W, no. The pronunciation is the same, but words are different. Meaning is different. No. Is he there in the class? No. Did you have your breakfast? Yes or no. Did you bring your book? Yes or no. Do you speak English? Yes or no. Do you drink tea? Yes or no questions. You can frame hundreds of questions. Yes. Anna. No. Anna. This is no. K-N-O-W. Here K and W are silent here. K and but what happens here is the meaning is different. Do you know how to speak English? I know how to drive a car. I know to sing. I know to play. I know to cook. We know to play. We know to read. We know to teach. We know to ride the bike. When it comes to he, she, or me, it becomes knows. He knows singing. She knows dancing. Virat Kohli knows how to play cricket. He knows to speak English. He knows to teach maths. She knows to cook. She knows to dance. She knows to drive a car. He name. It becomes knows. <clears throat> Here it is no. So one more thing is that I write. N O S E knows. And K N O W S knows. Look at that. 
I know, you know, we know, they know. Okay. I know how to speak English. He know how to speak English. You know how to speak English. They know how to speak English. I know to teach. You know to teach. We know to teach. They know to teach. This is no yes or no answers. So look at this. NOSC knows and KNOWS knows. Look at it. What funny, you know? This, he has got a pointed nose. His nose is flat. If this is flat. You are describing the nose. Isn't it? You are describing the nose. Here, look at this nose. This is the plural form of no. <laughs> he knows. She knows. He knows to swim. She knows to dance. He knows to sing. She knows to sing. He knows how to play cricket. She knows to cook. Arvind knows to teach. Arvind knows to drive a bike. Arvind knows to drive a car. Arvind knows to teach. Arvind knows to do anything you can say. Just look at the nose and nose. That is N-O-S-C. He has got a pointed nose. He has got a big nose. Something like that you can say. He he has no nose in the Arkashtra. He has no nose. You cannot say like that. No. That is about the, this is about the homophones I told you. Okay. So, yes. This you should nicely tell. <coughs> students, in no other language it is like that. It happens only in English. Those are called homophones. Spellings are different. Isn't it? Spellings are different. Meaning is different. And the pronunciation is the same. So some of the examples they wrote here. Quite, quite, root, root, waste, waste, weather, weather, no, no, new, new. <coughs> this is a new place. This place is new. This shirt is new. I bought a new bike. Look at that new. Okay, sorry. K N E W new. W. That is the third degree of verb. He is known to me. I am known to him. Known. He is known to me. I am known to him. Our theory, our inner theory. No, new, known. N E W new. This is a new place. This is a new bike. My shirt is new. My pant is new. This house is a new house. This is new. Number. I knew him. But what happens here is the spelling of the spelling is different, the meaning is different, and the pronunciation is the same. That is what these words are called homophones. It is very peculiar. It happens only in English. That you should be very careful in writing these spellings. If you miss any one letter or something like that, instead of writing this quite, if write this quite, you're gone. If instead of writing this weather, if write this weather, you're gone. Written meaning changes. Instead of writing root, if write root, this root gone. Instead of writing waste, if write waste, this is gone. Instead of writing new, if write new, it is gone. Instead of writing sun, if you say sun, it is gone. Why saying yes, no problem. Why saying it is no problem? He is my son. That means you are telling yes or yet, not yes or yet. My waist is big. The measurement of my waist. Yes. The measurement of my waist is 36 or 40. If you write a wrong spelling, is of writing W A W A I S T. If you write W A S T E, it's wrong. Why saying no problem? <coughs> She knows the answer. She knows the answer. That means you're telling this. In the writing, this was if you write this was is gone. She has a big nose. That means you have not learned the homophones among you. Most of the things are not taught in schools that I'm teaching you. You should be very lucky. Okay. What I do? <coughs> yes, I hope. You understood about the homophones. Once again, I repeat, homophones are 
the words the words with reading you should be very careful about the spellings while saying no you will be you will be having an excuse you don't know which spelling are you saying so people will understand what is your weight uh, one more thing i forgot to say weight w e i g h t weight one more thing is there weight w a i t w a i t is weight sir please wait for some time he is waiting for a long time the past tense of weight is waited he waited for a long time don't wait for me you carry on you can wait for me you carry on but w a i t spellings are different but pronunciation is the same wait wait what is your weight what is the weight of the elephant 5000 kg what is the weight of african elephant more than 6000 kg what is his weight what is her weight look at that weight jaasti irunda ka he is underweight kammi irunda ka 55 irukono he is she is 45 he is 45 he is underweight see my dear students why am i stressing this is this is a very very important chapter in english about homophones you may be while speaking no problem what is your weight or oh, no problem please wait for some time no problem don't wait for me you carry on sir he is waiting for a long time abhi sollilla ana yellum my dear students be very careful with this homophone because this is a very important unit okay i hope you would have enjoyed this class you enjoyed this class so i shall stop here to not tomorrow we shall continue on monday at the same time we shall continue on monday in the same timing thank you very much have a nice weekend